Hey everybody, welcome back again, Jay Biz here to do another HRO video. This time we're going to talk about the end of season 2023 re rewards that was just mm -hmm. announced today. If you guys want to uh, check it out, it's on HRO's blog. Anyway, so end of 2023 20, leaderboard snapshot is a little different this time around. And I wasn't around from the first iterations of this, so I really don't know exactly how this used to go before but apparently they removed end of season completionist rewards so no more, no more rewards for getting the entire set and they added an end of season leaderboard rewards tier so now uh they're a top 100 hybrid leader reward and top 300 digital reward so uh pretty much so we're gonna look at it like this the top 100 combined is gonna get a hro tier card the top 200 is going to get a mythic tier card and the top 400 is going to get a legendary tier card. So I'm assuming the way this reads that if you are top 100, you get all three. And if you're top 200, you get the last two mythic and legendary. And if you're top 400, you get legendary. So this is going to go on for one is going to include chapter three, chapter four, limited edition collection, HRO tier rewards and jumbo hybrid trading cards. So there's no exclusions on the hybrid collection cards from 2023. Then, obviously, there's going to be a digital version of that. But uh, so it's pretty much a little different for the digital. You get the top 50 gets you, gets an HRO card. Top 150 gets a mythic. Top 300 gets a legendary card for the digital uh, leaderboard reward. So let's move on a little bit. I don't want to hold you guys too long. So there's an, now there's a new cumulative award, all seasons reward. So there's an all seasons reward for 2023. By the way, these snaps for the leaderboard actually happen on March 21st, 2024 at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So get all your points, all your cards in by then. So the cumulative is going to be top 100 gets an HRO card, top 200 gets a mythic card, and top 400 gets a legendary card. So that's the hybrid. And the digital is much the same like before. Top 50 gets an HRO, HRO card. Top 150 gets a mythic card. And top 300 gets a legendary card. So I think this is pretty cool. You know, it makes me want to rip more. So with that being said, I got a booster box here of chapter three. So here we go. Got some sevens, three sevens, and an eight. So let's see if I can open these as fast as before. I forgot. I learned not to show the codes on the back, so let's see what we get here. So we got a little uncommon action. Barbara Gordon, superior, a little common. A little Batman card, I'm always in for that, but that's very high. And we got a hollow, Batman Earth 12. I feel like I have a few of these. And that's actually an epic and some Shazam cards which are supposedly both mythics. But uh, let me just make a pile. I got my Shazam pile. I got my regular card pile. And let's get to the next batch here. So like I said, I think the leaderboard aspect of it and the rewards is pretty cool. I don't know how you guys are gonna look at it. Got a little bat plane. Oh, I think I need this. Wizard and Johnny Quick. John Constantine. Another foil card, Green Lantern, and The Flash. And some more Shazams. So, nothing too crazy here. I was going for the complete set. And I don't know how I feel about that now. But I'm still buying. So here's a nice four-digit Batwoman. Superwoman. Hawkman, foil, four digit. Very nice. I like this art. That's a keeper for sure. And some more Shazams. So now we're on to the eight card pack. Let's see if we get a little last pack magic. Maybe get a mythic card. Legendary at, at best. Oh, this is a three digit card. Who would have thought? Granny goodness. Granny, granny, granny. Granny's kind of thick. Throw that to the side. And 
Riddler, missing him, I believe. This art, this pencils is so cool. Have that one already, I believe. And the foil card is a panel card. Panel one. We got some Shazams here. And we got a Mythic of Calypso. So I think I'm missing this one. So that'll be cool to add. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Wanted to keep it short and sweet. Like I said before, this is just cool having the every season cumulative digital and hybrid card count towards a end of season sort of snapshot thingy where you get rewards. So I think it's pretty cool. I think overall it should bring in a lot more collectors, uh, increase some competition. And hopefully you got a lot of love just for the cards themselves, just for the art themselves. I know digital collectors, may, maybe that doesn't mean as much, but I think it's all cool altogether. But anyway, thanks you guys for hanging out. Take care. Bye.